Good morning and welcome to a just stunning place to fish. Look at these mountains up at the head of this drainage that I'm in. I'm at a small little creek. The creek is just over here in the trees. I haven't been here before, but I did just go and scope out the creek over there. I walked over to the creek. Looks great. It's a nice little uh, pocket water stream here in the mountains. And I'm excited to fish today and I'm excited to show you some of the rods that I'm going to be using. These are what I call the generic yellow bamboo rods. And uh, they're obviously not real bamboo, uh, but you can see they're kind of jointed to look like bamboo. And these are super cheap rods. These are all, I think, sub $10 from AliExpress. And I think you can also get them from eBay, sometimes from Amazon. Uh, the ones that don't have, have cork handles, so these four here, I bought on, I think, AliExpress mostly. But what are really interesting are these ones with the cork handles. So these are from a viewer. A viewer sent me these. He made these handles himself and he sent them to me. Really beautiful, nicely crafted little handles. You know who you are, so thank you for sending these. He sent me a lot of rods over the years and I do appreciate it. I've had these for a while and I've never fished with them. So today I'm gonna fish with one or two of the, uh, of the cork handled ones. I've fished with several of the other ones of the ones that I've bought, but I've never fished with the cork handled ones. So it'll be interesting to see how they fare. I have these rods in 180 centimeter lengths. That's, that's uh, these two. 210 centimeters. I think this one is 240. And then this is 270, 300, and 360. I've found that the, the longer you go, the worse these rods are. Like for example, the 360 is really bad. The 300 is usable. And then, you know, we just get better as we go down. So today, I think we're gonna start with the 270. This is a, a nine foot approximately rod. And if we need to, we can go up or down from there, but let's start with the 270. I've got a nine foot line on here to match more or less the length of the rod. And uh, the fly here is a, it's kind of a bushy soft tackle, brown soft tackle with a, with a green, like a lime green body. The rod casts well enough. It's not amazing. But it's certainly good enough and it's not it's not bad it's not terrible it's a little bit heavier than what i'm used to fishing but that's not a big deal we can still catch fish even on a five dollar rod i have a lot of rods you know i have dozens of tankara rods some very expensive and some super cheap i like fishing with all of them it's fun to just fish with a variety of rods and it's fun to show that you don't need to have a 150, 200, or $300 Tenkara rod to get out and have fun and catch fish. This is grizzly bear country, by the way. I get asked a lot if I, uh, if I have bear spray with me. And usually I don't, but I do carry it when I'm fishing in grizzly bear country. If it's just black bears, then I don't carry it. Unless it's like a known hot spot of, of bear activity. Oh, is that a fish? Probably not, but... Oh, come on! What is that? I haven't felt anything on either of those two hook sets. I just saw the line suddenly tighten. That's the first little blip of anything that I've had. This stream doesn't appear to have a ton of fish in it. I have yet to see, actually see, oh, come on, what is that? I have yet to actually see any fish. There we go, okay, that was a fish. I wasn't sure, and that, my friends, is a beautiful native fish. We are in wild places catching wild native trout. This is a cutthroat trout. More specifically, this is a Snake River fine-spotted cutthroat trout, which is sort of a subspecies of 
of uh, Yellowstone cutthroat trout. And true to its name, this fish has very fine spots on it. See ya, buddy. It took me 22, 23 minutes to catch that fish. So not super fast fishing so far, but if they're all like that, if they're all beautiful little native cutthroat, then I'm willing to put in the work. Let's keep fishing, let's catch some more. Oh, is that a fish? Or is that a twig or something? That's a fish, there we go. Got him. That didn't take too long. That was about five minutes after the last one. Beauty. Another beautiful little fine spotted cutthroat. Such a cool fish. Well, I wasn't recording, but I guess it's just as well. I, I just hooked into a fish in this pool right here, but it got off. It got off, uh, it kind of went, I dove over the little waterfall here and it came off then. It was about the same size as the others, you know, six, seven, eight inches, somewhere in that range. On some creeks, it hurts more than others to lose fish. You know, if you're catching 20 or 30 fish, losing a couple doesn't matter. If you're catching just one or two, losing one hurts. But there's a good one. This is the biggest one yet. Got him. Yeah, what a beauty. What a beautiful fish. It's a 10 or 11 incher. Yeah, it's about 10 inches. What a beauty. That is an awesome cutthroat. See ya, buddy. Awesome, what a great catch. Fish on. Ooh, it's a good one, I think. Oh, it went, it went down the, down the creek here. I don't know if it's still on. Oh, it is. Oh, how do I get it? There we go, wow. It's like a 11 or 12 incher, I think. That's a beauty. That is a beautiful trout. Again, I don't know if I was recording for that fish. The, the GoPro might have died, but I caught a beautiful 11 or 12 incher out of this pool. Hopefully you, you guys saw that. I don't know if the release was caught on on camera. I'm having some, some GoPro issues today. It's a warm day, the GoPro is overheating a little bit. And so I'm turning it off and on a lot because I think it, it overheats more when I'm recording a long clip. And so, again, I'm not entirely sure if I was recording for all of that, but that was a beautiful fish. Got him. Yes, not as big, not as nice as the last one, but I'll take them all. See ya, buddy. Oh, next cast in the next pool. Come on. Yes. Nice. Yet another 
fine spotted cutthroat trout. See ya, buddy. Fish on. Oh, and off. Oh! Oh man, I was getting ready to recast. The fly had, had drifted almost to the very end of the pool. And I was looking down, kind of, you know, figuring out where I was going to walk next. And I pulled the, the rod back and I felt something on the line and I saw a flash of silver in the water. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, I think that might have been the same fish again. Got him. Yes. Took several tries. We had a few misses, but finally got him. Nice. See you, buddy. Fish on! Got him. See ya, buddy. Oh. Awesome, okay. Been fishing for a while now. The fishing has been good off and on, if not super steady. Let's catch one more. Got him. I thought I might have Thought I might have seen a little bit of motion in the rope or in the in the line. And I did. See you, buddy. You know, I said one more, but we've got some nice looking pools up ahead here. Let's keep fishing and see if we can get another one. Okay, is this the last one? Yes, it is. Nice fish to end on. See you, buddy. Oh, what a beautiful little creek. Well, I fished for two hours and 45 minutes and caught nine beautiful Snake River fine spotted cutthroat trout. Not the best creek that I've ever fished as far as numbers of, of fish go. But there's something about this creek. It's just, you know, I've been thinking about it as I've been fishing here and the word pure just keeps coming to mind. There's a, a purity to this area, to the mountains, to this little valley here, to the, the creek itself, to the, the wildflowers all around. Like I'm sitting in a field of wildflowers here. It's just, it's just glorious. What a beautiful, beautiful area. And uh, I had a great time fishing here. Sorry for any any weirdness in the filming and the camera, but I hope you guys were still able to, to get a taste of this just amazing spot. And uh, I enjoyed fishing with this rod. You know, these aren't the best rods out there, but for the money, they might be. You know, I don't know if you can get a better rod for under $10 than these cheap yellow bamboo rods. And, and adding a, a little custom cork handle like this did make it a little bit more fun to fish with and make it a little bit easier. I have very big hands, I've got very long, fingers and so yeah this did help not that it's really an issue to to just grab a rod like this without a handle on it but you know a handle never hurts and i do like cork handled tenkara rods i do like cork grips on my rods so anyway just thought you guys might like to see me fish with a super cheap budget rod you don't need anything fancy if you have a beautiful place like this to fish in doesn't really matter what you fish you can still catch fish and have a great time i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching let me know what you think let me know what your favorite part was let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.